ladies and gentlemen, really quickly before we get into this live com here, um, I found this out after this video was recorded, but um, it seems like there was a little bit more than what was shown on the first article. Um, and there's currently going to be, looks like, about 11 cars. Um, actually shows more than 11 vehicles from the iconic Fast and the Furious movie. So keep that in mind on this commentary. Um, I still feel the same about, you know, the cars that they've already given us and chosen. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, what are these next cars going to be that we haven't seen yet. And as well to the standalone expansion, we actually got a lot more detail um, from the XboxNews.com. And it did say that um, it's going to be almost a full side mission setup. So in Forza Horizon 2 presents Fast and the Furious, she'll be recruited by Fast and the Furious expert mechanic Tej Parker, voiced by that. We already knew that, um, but it does say that you're going to be taking part in a series of thrilling car challenges set in the idyllic south of France and inspired by both the Fast and the Furious movies and Forza's awesome pulse pounding gameplay. So that is huge. I don't really know what to expect from that. And it does say as you complete game challenges, you'll unlock new cars that you can drive throughout the open world and free roam play. You will also be able to take photos of your favorite cars and share them with fellow Forza players via the official Forza website and Forza hub. Um, so, oh my god, man, that's some groundbreaking news. Keep that in mind when watching this because we did not know this information uh, before we recorded this. So with saying that, man, the standalone pack looks fantastic from what it looks like so far. So I am hyped about that standalone pack. Let me know your thoughts about that, man. And that just that just opens so many doors right now for Forza. Um, it is just, it, it's incredible, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get back to the gameplay right what now. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, The Slab Train. And welcome, guys, back to some Forza Horizon 2. And we are playing with the Forza Horizon 2 Fast and Furious Standalone Expansion Pack right now, ladies and gentlemen. Have a look at our vehicles. We have Dom sitting in the front seat right now with his beautiful blower just mounted on that hood man this thing is going to be vicious right now oh my god man we have all the beautiful cars right now we got the cuda we got the r35 we got the supra and the charger over there we're currently waiting on download for the rest of the vehicles to come in including the jeep um the road runner as well too as the maserati Ghibli right now, so these all are going to be dope. Um, we're just waiting to play with them right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just messing with you people, man. Oh my god, this is not the TLC, but you know, we have Fast and the Furious coming in as, you know, kind of a side guest with Forza, so that's really nice, but there's a couple things that I wanted to go into detail with with you guys today that I really don't like about this DLC, or I'm a little worried about this DLC, if you will. So I wanted to kind of discuss my thoughts. We're going to be doing a live com with these gentlemen in here to kind of get their two cents on the matter as well, too, and just kind of see how this is going to go down. Now, we're going to start off today by reading an article from VG247.com. I'll leave a link in the bottom here, and it pretty much says, A Fast and a Furious tie-in and standalone expansion to Forza Horizon 2 will arrive for Xbox consoles next month. So titled Forza Horizon 2 presents Fast and the Furious, the downloadable title does not require the base game to play. Cars. This is the kind of the meat and potatoes of this pack, and this is cars from the Fast and the Furious movies such as the 1970 Dodge Charger RT driven by Vin Diesel's character are included. Along with F Furious 7 cars, the 1998 Toyota Supra, the 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner, the 2012 Nissan GTR, the 70 Plymouth Cuda, the 2013 Jeep Wrangler, the 2014 Maserati Ghibli S, and the 2015 Dodge Charger. So it said that it will be presented on uh, March 27th for Xbox One and 360 and will be free up until April 10th to promote the April 3rd release of Furious 7. Now, the Charger's nice. It's going to give us a blower. Now, we better see blowers on any other car moving forward on, fa or, sorry, on Forza Horizon 2. I don't think they have any excuse now not to allow us to use blowers in this game. So... We're going to see what happens in the next coming months, but I really am expecting blowers on, you know, all damn muscle cars moving forward. With saying that, we're going to get right into this live call. We're going to go head into our party, and we're going to see what's going down, man. All right, yep. so for this session right now, we have FTTKZ rocking the CUDA. We have, looks like, Rising Drift in his R34. 
We got Orbit back there in his Supra. And then back there, I'm just lost. I see Zoltan and Dubs, I believe. What the hell are you guys driving back there, man? I see a damn R35 and... What the hell is that? <laughs> what is that, man? Oh, the Charger. The Charger. That's right. The damn Charger, man. The Charger, man. I couldn't see it, bro. I couldn't see it. <laughs> God damn. So these are the cars that we have kind of recreated for this pack, and I just kind of wanted to get your guys' thoughts on the pack. As I said earlier, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm very on the edge of this pack because there's a lot of things that are kind of wrong about it um, that I just kind of wanted to discuss today, you know, kind of give our two cents on it and just kind of see what everybody else in the community thinks about it and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, ladies and gentlemen. But I wanted to touch base on number one, which was the cars that they chose. I mean, that's obviously the meat and potatoes of this. Um, as I said, we have the 70 Charger with Dom's character in there. Now, I mean, he better be some HD damn quality content in this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jesus. We haven't had any new damn player models in some time. And I'd like to know your thoughts. You know, anybody in here, you know, should Forza start doing this more where they add in different player models and such because i think this is a great opportunity now that we've seen them do it why not do more of them you know what i mean like just anybody jump in on that man i mean let me know i know a lot of girl drifters who like to drift in this game you know forza and a lot of them are saying well you know it's, it's always been guys why yeah. is there no girl characters why is there no different models i think yeah, but then again it's, this game is about cars this game is about well, yeah, cars, exactly. not the player models you know no, fair enough. Um, true, true, but then, if so then that uh, you've got the opportunity to add decals and designs to your car to make it yourself, though, so to me, it's a sort of like a stupid idea not to go that one step further. Cause, I mean, you've got next gen now, so you've got that capability of custom air model per se. You know, so instead of just that one. Every yeah, 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 just to jump in on that, I mean, yeah, we have exactly. the ability to customize our cars. Why not our players that we're driving them with? You know, like they they really want to make us, you know, kind of in depth in this world, but yet we all have the same damn driver, man. It's like a bad dream in this bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> we all got the same wiper movements. We all got the same player models. Oh my god, man, it's crazy. So yeah, I mean. That's kind of up in the air. I feel like there should be a lot more detail moving forward now that we know what's possible with Forza. Um, the second thing that I wanted to talk about was the standalone base that they're talking about. Now, this is going to be essentially almost, I feel like, a demo, at least what they've marketed it as. Um, I mean, really, this is a Fast and the Furious game where kind of people can play before they see the movie because this is set before the movie, obviously. So, um, I mean, I feel like it's, you know, it's a great thing, but... I mean, like why not but have, yeah, I mean, like, like, why is it a standalone to begin with? I don't understand that. Exactly, it would make more sense if, okay, you have, let's say, an alternate or parallel um, single player, per se, you know, because you've got the rally, you've got the normal. So, yeah. No, I definitely hear you on that for sure. I mean, I feel like this should be a game. And I mean, there's a lot of questions that I have that, I mean, are, are we still going to get online? Are we going to be able to use these cars with our game currently? Because I ain't got no more damn room for any more downloads on my <laughs> Xbox hard drive, man. I got like yeah, nine yeah, gigs. I, I don't think it's going to, we're going to be, I'm running low as well. Be able to use cars in Forza Horizon. I mean, that, to consider that game. that'll be such a disappointment, man. I'll be so upset. Especially for that damn road that's runner. The same, like, yeah, dude, that's the same like with customization too. Is like the wide bodies and like the other things you can actually do to cars in real life that you don't, you can't do in this game. I think that's that's a real, real big disappointment for you because you know, just like the RX-7 in Tokyo Drift, how he had the wide body on it and it just it looks so clean and it was just so sexy. Now, I don't understand why they couldn't you know maybe in the Fast and the Furious pack put it to where you could put a wide body on it. That'd be pretty cool. And there's a lot of things that, you know, after seeing this pack and the ability to put on a blower on your car now, um, I'm a little bit upset that the fact that we have been deprived of blowers for, what now, four years? And now they just want to add yeah. one blower in? I mean, we better get blowers for the rest of our muscle cars, man. Yeah, that'd be dope. That would be definitely be dope. Because that is... I don't know. I, just, I feel like there should be more customization already for the cars because... I mean, I'd like to make the 
don't know, R34 that I have. I, I want to make it look just a little bit more realistic, you know? Yeah. I, I, I mean, I think moving forward for Faz, or sorry, from Forza Motorsport 6, I mean, we, I, I hope I see some more, you know, un, actual upgrades. Now, try not to go away from too much about this expansion here. Um, now, I mean, as I said, the cars that we're driving today, they're all kind of featured in this pack. Obviously, it's not to a T. There's a couple years that are off, but we kind of went through and made a list um, just before we started this of, you know, cars that could have been in this pack. Now, I do understand that it is a Fast and a Furious 7 pack, except for the Charger. That was the only car that was actually from the previous Forzas. Now, I mean, I think that they should have marketed this as maybe, you know, more in terms of the previous four, or sorry, the previous Fast and the Furious instead of, you know, Fast 7 and then using cars that we've kind of already seen. Now, mind you, yes, it's going to be great. We're going to get to play this before we go to the movie and then check out the movie, but I think that they kind of, it feels like they rushed this pack, to be honest with you. I mean, that's just my thoughts. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's probably a few more cards they could have added, or the little different things they could have put in. But, I mean, I like the concept, though. It's pretty cool that they wanted to do this. Yeah, like and, said, and if they did it right, rushed. the missions that they said be in it should be fun, yeah. hopefully. No, I mean, I for mean, sure. You said, they, you said the thing was rushed, but it is free at the end of the day. 100% true. At for at least two weeks, so, like, I mean... It's not really like they're they're making you pay for it, so you can get these these cars. And I know, like you said, there's not like that many new cars in it. Yeah. Like there's uh like the majority of them we already have in like this lineup right now. But like at the end of the day, it's free. So. A hundred percent agree with that. No, you, know, you can't I, really complain yeah. about that. I mean, I definitely hear you on the free part. I mean, I'm just gonna give us the list that we made of cars that could have been in this DLC pack. I mean, they got time, man. This pack isn't coming out until next month late next month and you know i'm sure that they've already done this deal a long time ago so now the cars that we chose for this that could have been in this pack were the eclipse from the first fast and furious the s2k because that was a convertible like you said and as well a different model if i'm not mistaken we have mm -hmm. the was. yeah so we have that we have hector civic that he had we have a jesse's jetta we have Brian's F-150 Lightning that he drove um, as his parts truck. We have the Monte Carlo from Tokyo Drift. Um, we have the Charger Daytona from the later Fast and the Furious. We have the 5th Gen Iconic Civics from the first one, man. I, I feel like that should have been in there hands down. The 5th Gen Civic, man, those are the high Civics. I mean, that should have been in there. Oh, my God, man. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, those things were definitely dope. The Love Gran cars. Torino mm. from whatever one it was man i get all these damn names mixed up now but the grand torino the green one we have the r33 which was leon's from the first one the rb26 67 mustang from tokyo drift man just hearing that puts a smile on my face you know what i mean oh. like oh man Same. yeah i love it god <laughs> we have that we have the maxima and the mitsubishi spider um that rome drove in too fast too furious so i mean there's I mean, that was just a list that we made not even watching the movies over again. So, I mean, I'm sure there's lots of cars that could have been in. And, I mean, like you said, it's a free pack. And I definitely agree with that. You know, we can't really complain too much when it's a free pack. And I definitely agree with that. I think the biggest problem that I have is that it's a standalone title. You know what I mean? If they're going to do, you know, this much work and, you know, say this much promotion, why make it a standalone game when they could have added on to whatever they already currently have? I mean... I don't know if anyone has an explanation for that or wants to take a guess. I mean, by all means. I mean, I think it's more because they're working with Universal Studios more than anything. Um, yeah. So that's it's that's still that's fully associated with Forza. Fair know, enough. To branch out, if you know what I mean, because I mean, they got the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift team, if I remember correctly, uh, Fast and Furious Showdown. So they want to make their own franchise within. Let's say the gaming community. I that's how I see it. That is I a very good part. Um, I I kind of bypassed and I kind of forgot about that. But yeah, that is an association now with with actual uh, with the digital licensing at the Universal Studios. So it is it's a big thing that you know they are partnering with a movie this big. So I mean, you are probably definitely right about that. And I know we're probably going to see that in the comments a lot in here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I would say moving forward though. 
you know, I feel like this is a great opportunity now for, you know, Playground Games as well as Turn 10 to maybe, you know, try to get on the same page with Fast and Furious, maybe even do, you know, either their own collaboration, you know, car pack update where they can bring out some of the most iconic cars. Because I don't know about you guys, but I would pay for that shit, hands down, man. Absolutely would pay for it. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. like, I would definitely pay sixty nine ninety nine if they added just another portion of the map. You know, something like that. Yeah. Just give us something more extra. Yeah, that would be that would be really cool. More customization, you know, like you said. Need that pro uh, street customization. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a hundred dollars oh, right yeah, there, yeah, man. Yeah. I'll, I'll pay for exactly. that shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the character customization, you know, different things you could do with the character. No, definitely. Uh, character do with, customization like, uh, was in. Character customization we were in games like for a really long time as well. So, uh, like think about uh, Test Drive for example. I mean that thing was Test literally drive, yeah. just all about like the player and like him just driving around. So I mean it's around. not like it's yeah you can walk around as well. And that was just basically like a driving game. No, so it's yeah, not yeah. like it's impossible to do. No, it's you not know, at all. It's, it's actually like, kind of uh, easy. And it was Juice bigger map. This is wrong. If you remember Juice Two, yeah. Uh, Juice Two, yeah, yeah that was huge. You had your own player yeah, customization. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I mean, I think we're at a point now where we've seen games do it, and you know, I feel like this game should do. You know, at least Forza as a series, you know, should offer some more improvements. And this is my personal thoughts on this, guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just feel like they should include more in-depth detail. Yes, you know, they have brought some amazing cars to life in these last couple of years. You know, from the changeover from you know Forza Four to Forza Five. But now I feel like you know we have already given them the grace year. Um, and now, you know, we got to start seeing some bigger and better things, so, yeah. Yeah, That's I mean, like, just like you said, man, I, I want to see something new. I want to see something that we haven't seen before. I want to see customization. I want to see more things you can do. Because there's so many things you can do to a real car in real life. It's just it's so mind-boggling. It's, it's so limited in Forza. And I feel like it's about time they really, I don't know, step it up, I guess you could say. Yeah, no, step I definitely. Step it up a little bit. Definitely say so. I'm or Forza 60. I have to step it up for sure. <laughs> Forza 60? <laughs> That's six. Oh, I thought he said Forza 60. I'm like, Jesus, man, this guy's thinking of the future, man. <laughs> we'll be buying our own damn cars and putting them in game. Jesus. <laughs> so, yeah, so thank you guys very much for stopping by today to discuss uh, this. Forza Horizon 2 presents Fast and the Furious Car Pack. I don't know, really know about the name on that. I think that should have been changed a little bit. Um, but this is going to be hitting the stores on April... No. That's the Fast and the Furious oh, 7 release. 27th of March. 27th of March. It's, it's, it's the seven, pack. Yeah. Yes. It'll be free all the yeah, way up April till comes. April 10th. So... Go and check that out as soon as it drops, March 27th. As I said, I hope I got enough space on my damn hard drive for this thing. I don't know really what's going to happen. Follow my Twitter for updates on it, um, as well as my Facebook group. I know a lot of people are commenting in there about the pack. Um, so I'd like to thank all you guys for coming in today and just, you know, a little slow discussion. We didn't even move out of the parking lot, which I think is a video first. Um, we didn't even drift anywhere, really. So, I mean, Jesus, man. I mean, you do got the monsters, so you're looking forward to it. No, definitely, man. It should be a good update. I mean, like you said, the main thing that I want everybody to take away is that it's free. And, you know, you can't hate on it when it's a free thing. So I think just moving forward, we need to see more improvements to the game now, knowing that they have changed player models, that they have added blowers to the vehicle. So that kind of gives me hopes for Forza 6, but we'll have to wait and see for that. So thank you guys very much for coming in today. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Become a member of Team Slap today and start spinning some damn tires with us as well too as i said you guys can follow me on facebook twitter and instagram all found in the description box down below who else has channels in here man i think dubs has got his own youtube channel go and check him out this man posts every day on his channel so he's got some really great content on there as well as fttkz and i believe that's it man is there anyone else in here with channels rigid orbit nah, nah, nah. no rising drift no Nope, nope. It's all good then, yeah. man. Yeah, all right. Here? Zoltan? No? Okay. All right, yeah, man. man. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you put a slap train. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>